I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. And today, let's talk about how thin the line has been between liberty and anarchy. What was the one thing holding America's hope that our country wouldn't go down the Hitler-esque road to a totalitarian oblivion? Her. The notorious RBG. One tiny hummel of a Supreme Court justice has stood between us and free elections, the rule of law, and a coal-fueled zombie Armageddon for the last three years. She blocked it. And last week, this legal and progressive badass finally succumbed to her fourth bout with cancer. That's right. It took cancer four shots at her to make a dent in this woman's amazing life. RBG fought for women's rights hard. In the 70s, she fought for the rights of women to be on juries. That's right, ladies. She could have got you out of it forever. But because of RBG, once every couple of years, you have to get your methy sister to watch your kids while you go lie about being a racist to get out of jury duty. She also paved the way for the Equal Credit Opportunity Act. I know, but it passed in 1974 and allowed women to apply for bank accounts, credit cards, and mortgages without male co-signers. Really? Men had to co-sign for women's bank accounts until 1974? So because of RBG, my wife could open her own account and had the right to steal hundreds of thousands of dollars from me. Damn you, you tiny inspirational figure of feminism and human fairness. So... We now have a vacant seat on the Supreme Court. And Senate Majority Leader and disgraced, dishonored, and discredited dark side ninja turtle Mitch McConnell is going to follow what he said when Obama wanted to nominate Merrick Garland. Here's what he said in 2015. Look to history. We haven't filled a vacancy created during a presidential election year in 80 years to find the last time a Senate controlled by the opposite party of the president confirmed a justice in a presidential election year. So now that the situation ex is exactly the same, except for that was 400 days, and now we only have 40 days to the election, Mitch, what the fuck is under your chin, McConnell, has kept his villain integrity intact and now said... If the Supreme Court justice was to die next year, what would you do? Uh, we'd fill it. And Lindsey Graham said... If there's a Republican president in 2016 and a vacancy occurs in the last year of the first term, you can say, Lindsey Graham said, let's let the next president, who it, whoever it might be, make that nomination, and you could use my words against me, and you'd be absolutely right. And Chuck Grassley said, The people deserve to be heard, and they should be allowed to decide through their vote for the next president the type of person that should be on the Supreme Court. So what they're doing is going against everything they said when the black guy was president, because, you know, racism! So we are going to have a conservative court and women's rights will be taken and black people's rights will be taken and anyone who isn't a fat white man's rights will be taken. You know, America. But here's what everyone forgets. We have been through worse and we have been through better. Eventually this will pass and either we will end up in a second civil war or Trump will be voted out and perp walk through the Rose Garden that his illegal immigrant wife destroyed. I hope she gets a lot of money in the coming divorce and Barron, I hope you get a good therapist. So you gonna vote Trump people, are you? Really? Okay. But then you Trump voter, you need to take responsibility for no wall, no Venmo from Mexico to pay for it, no infrastructure, 200,000 dead, no plan, 28% increase in American deaths on top of COVID, 14 million unemployed, still no plan, no new factories, no better trade deal, no vaccine, farmers on welfare, and still no plan, debt up 7 trillion, no plan, stupidity is through the roof, yet no plan at all, just a fat old white man trying to scare you about people that don't look like you. You know, the people that he wants you to be afraid of are being killed in the street, in their cars, and while they sleep. And to be honest, black people need to be afraid of one obese, bloviating white man whose plan to stop the worst global pandemic in a hundred years was to ingest disinfectant. Then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that by injection inside or almost a cleaning that's who black people should be afraid of in fact that's a dude every living thing should fear <sighs> shout out to ruth bader ginsburg for being someone we should all try to be and we still can if you vote i'm christopher titus and this is the armageddon update oh, i can't believe i got out bloviating <sighs>
Hey everybody, Christopher Titus, Titus Podcast. How are you uh, in the midst of Armageddon? <laughs> With me as always, to the right, the lovely bombshell Ray. What's up, people? And to the left, the Highlander. There could be only one. There can be only one. You know, uh, there could be only one. RBG. One. Mm. That was one badass. No, one notorious one. She's, mm-hmm. Was she the first? She was the first woman on the Supreme Court, wasn't she? No. No, she wasn't. Who was first? Oh, Sandra Day O'Connor. Correct. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not super stupid. Do you know what I love? Just basically. Um, one industry. of my favorite things that she said, they asked her when there would be enough female Supreme Court justices, and she said when there are nine. Mm. And some people kind of took offense to that, like, oh, only when there's all women. And she said, hey, hey, hey. There's been all men, all men. forever, yeah. and nobody raised an uh-huh. eyebrow. Yeah, at no that. one got offended right. by that. Right. No yeah, why is? Hey. The, but do you see the disparity? It's systemic, like you talked You're about right, right. every week since Donald Trump took office. Well, the conservative side is all, all men, right? Mm-hmm. It's all the same well, fat, no. doughy white men. No, no, I'm talking conservatives. Period. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, um, oh yeah. Yeah, but all the conservative side, conservative sides all men. Yeah, it's yeah. The, yeah. Although supposedly the one that Trump's nominating now is going to be uh, a woman. A woman. The, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, here's here's I have a couple of things about this. So I, I started doing some research when I was writing the Armageddon update about RBG. And did you know? Did you know this? Did you hear me talking about it? Uh, were you in the room when I was doing the Armageddon update? That in 1974, women, the only way you could get a bank account is if I co-signed for you to... In 1974... Except for doesn't that RBG. Like some, doesn't yeah. that sound like some shit that like in the 1850s should have been changed? Yes. Like not even 70, in our lifetime. Like in all of our lifetimes. Seven, I was 10. <laughs> 74? I mean, so yeah. so she still had to go, honey, Dang. can I have a bank account? Well, let's talk about that little lady. Uh, the chicken last night was, was not gonna, yeah. was a little undercooked. So maybe what's you for know, dinner tonight? If maybe you can't handle the chicken. Maybe you can't handle money. But it's cute. I want to say I used to have a list of this when I was writing my last show, and I want to say it was early '90s where 96. military '96. I read it. No, 94. How do you know what I'm going to say when I didn't say it yet? Go ahead. I just know what you're going to say. What are you going to say? You're going to say that RGB, she passed something, and it was in 94 and 96. It was basically military families. Women couldn't get the same benefits that men could get if in the military. <laughs> It wasn't the benefits. I was talking about the privilege to use the base exchange, like the PX or the BX, depending on the base. Female milita- members of the military could were not afforded those same rights to have their families come and use the ID card and shop there and things like that. Only men. They also weren't allowed to have the same housing on base as men were. No, no, I'm fine with that. That's 100%. We're all, we're all fine with that. We don't want to live... I'm just saying Where that you if you live. Yeah, if you I want. didn't know that. How did my grandmother always get me the same comb and gum from the Navy store that f- since, you know, night- wait a second. She was a dependent, right? Oh, so maybe she she wasn't. was able to piggyback on his ID. Of course. Okay, yeah, so women she could go, always piggyback. Oh, oh, got it, got it. But although okay. there was a time, I want to say 94, you went, even if you yeah, were the member of the military uh, in your family. Wow. Yes. A dude had to handle it. Huh, uh, honey? Do you, honey, I'll go get it for you. What? Here, take my ID. They'll know. They know you. Because uh, you don't ju- get crazy. Don't get out of. Don't get out of line. You stay calm. Don't you just got my, a bank account that I let rep- you have. I, yeah, I just let you have. <laughs> I just, I just have. signed it. But I, it's the. I, and I'm reading it, going. Were we? I mean, I knew we were fucked up for a long time. I didn't know we were this fucked up that recently. Right. <laughs> People, women could. I, I can't even imagine me me telling Rachel. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want a bank account? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> even just her thinking about it makes her want to stab me. The look on her face was, "I'm gonna stab you." <laughs> you want me to get a baseball? Yeah. Well, you have the bank account, yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just find that crazy. So she made, like, st- that was one of the legislation. She wasn't a Supreme Court justice yet, but that was that was what she was working on. And but because of her, like, and I, I, it was also because of her the wage disparity that ended up getting signed by Barack Obama after that that case was what led to that Lily Ledbetter. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Because of her. <laughs> but that was in the nineties. Was that the '90s? Yeah, because Barack Obama was president in the sorry, '90s. Sorry, I was saying Clinton. I was saying Clinton. No, 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 no. That was that was that was even that was twenty. Jesus Christ! Women <laughs> just got this. 
<laughs> God, you know what? Here, here's okay. Systemic racism again. As a white man, mm-hmm. s- systemic sexism. I, I, I didn't know this till today when I wrote the thing, guys. I didn't know that. And I am to all you women out there. So sorry. Mm-hmm. I so get why you're so pissed all the time. Mm-hmm. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Her reaction. That's like because that. of no, you. I would, I would, all the time. I just waited. Three, <laughs> two, what? <laughs> That's a hundred percent because of you. That's why we're mad because no. we're tired of trying to explain numbers and geography. I have to say, I'm a little mad at her. Uh, we at have her. a country to run. She couldn't. She beat cancer four times. She couldn't hold on for 45 more days. She couldn't hold on. Oh, she right. tried. She did right. try. She, I right. got this woman. What a bad. And ass. honestly, really, we needed her to. I kept saying the number of days before the election, but we really needed her to hold on until January, January because we 20. all know even if he got you know booted out, he would still yeah some funny business going yeah, on. Yeah, of mm-hmm. course. Well, I actually read an article today. The New York Times put out saying, "Here's how Trump can win," and it was chilling. I tried to read it to him, and he got all wound up was, and nope, left. Nope, we're not saying it. Well, what okay. did it say basically? What was it? What was it? That was the uh, gist of it. Um, Nuclear fallout. No, what, I mean, exactly. what is it like? well, We're all going to be living in caves. <laughs> all so we won't know. Volcanoes everywhere. He just will be. <laughs> well, um, it number one was the error of margin in polling right. in 2016. If if given where they're currently polling, if the disparity was the same as what happened in 2016 when we got the real results versus the polling results he would win Mm -hmm. because what they have found is that those polls fail to account for working white middle class voters and so the polls how how, wait how can oh because they're not home to get the phone call and now the another problem is we don't have landlines anymore so that's also made it harder to get a sample of the population and then they talked about the states that he won but narrowly before and how the percentage between him and joe biden in these three major states is very close like pennsylvania they're saying is going to be a major 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 battle um they're so close even though, even there though, isn't he from pennsylvania even isn't biden from pennsylvania but um they're so close there that they're saying if that margin of error does exist then he's gonna win he's not gonna win they did say that if and when he wins he would again lose the popular vote but he would win the electoral college. Then they said he's already set up to dispute all mail-in ballots. Yeah, he's already already And if he did discount mail-in ballots, the ones that he's calling illegal, in Pennsylvania, he would lose about 100,000 votes. And oh. he would lose. Uh, sorry, he would gain a hundred thousand votes. Biden would lose a hundred thousand votes. And so there's all these little things that he's put into place. I mean, and we're not even talking about they've already Facebook has already announced that they've detected activity of China um, also meddling in election um, you know, propaganda, not as much as Russia, but they're doing it now too. They have yes. warned the FBI put out a report yesterday that the FBI issued a public statement, which they never yes. do. They did it. It's almost like you can't unring a bell. That wait, wait, Russia, wait, wait, like, yes. they, no, they that put, Russia is going to issue election false election results and um, stories immediately as the election is being counted that it's that p- it was cheated and that it was fake mm-hmm. and that they've detected a lot of fraud and put it out like it looks official mm-hmm. so they're mm-hmm. warning people to not pay attention to that yeah they were they were saying that don't listen to what they say so guys the only thing that we can do is not listen to any polls not listen mm-hmm. to any bullshit by this fat bloviating orange shit stain and vote that's all you can do, mm-hmm. and, and you can only. I, I kind of. I, I was so wound up this morning when I was writing that thing and reading about what was going on in the news, and I thought, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Number one, or I'm gonna have a stroke. And number two, I can only do everything I can do, mm-hmm. but yeah. do everything you can do. You know, if you can do everything you can do, then you can live your life fine. If you know what you should do and you don't do it, that's on you. 
I don't even know what I'm saying. What just anymore. happened? I don't even know, but if man. If you said do one more time. I actually felt like uh, Willy Wonka. Do. do what you do. And then you do, you do that Wonka, and you do remember, do. Remember when Willy Wonka was first talking to everybody and they came into the thing? That's what it felt like. What the hell are when you talking you... about? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense after yeah, the poster gets it. Exactly. Like, when what? you do, do, do. <laughs> I heard myself. I heard myself. I was like, I don't know what I'm talking about either. Um, tight it, 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 tight I went down a monkish road, and then it just turned into a blather. So I, yeah, I tried. I thought I was saying something smart, and they, but that, by the way, that happens a lot, and I and it's not. Do everything smart. that you can do, right? Yeah, that's, do that's all you can do. Do do that's all you can do. Be all you can be. Hold do on. all you no, can. can do. Now do, we're in a so do 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 <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> be 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 ba boo boo ba. That's all I want to say to you. The do 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 da da da. That's all I want to say to you. Thank Hold you, on. Thank, thank you, you, Sting. Thank you, everybody. And the this has been the tightest podcast. The do 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 the da da da. That's all I want to say to you. <laughs> See, you know, we we can, we brought it around to something worse. Um. So RBG, uh, pretty amazing uh, life, pretty amazing. I, I still, it freaks me out. I saw her in, what was going on with her and Scalia? They were buddies. I know, but they were like so opposite, Ooh. but they went to India. On, I, I have buddies that I won't go on vacation with. She yeah. would go to his house on Sunday for dinner. They were buddies. They were and complete it, and her, polar opposites and in her, politics, which is kind of how it used to be that people mm-hmm. worked together. Mm-hmm. Um, Joe mm-hmm. Biden and Lindsey Graham were mm-hmm. great friends. John McCain. No, Joe Biden and Lindsey Graham, too. You can go and watch the video of Lindsey Graham saying that you'll never find a more honorable man than Joe Biden. Because... What, what, what do they have on Lindsey Graham? That's how it used to be. But what do they have on Lindsey Graham? How do you flip that hard? I mean, we have so much video. These older white guys don't realize that we have video of you doing all the shit you said you didn't do. Right, yeah. Uh, it, but they don't care mm-hmm. anymore. The, the thing that's been introduced by Trump during this era is... The truth is not the truth, Mm -hmm. and what you see is not real. And so even, you know, your we had some of your family members visit this week, and she said that to me. She goes, well, you can't believe that. And I said, then why do you believe what you saw on Fox if we can't believe? I said, what we are all responsible for right now as Americans and members of a democracy, at least for now, we are responsible for doing the research ourselves. Amen. If you know that your democracy is under threat, then you need to actually start researching. And I tried to explain to her that you can easily go online and read bills. Mm-hmm. You can go and see the minutes from things that are happening on the Hill. You can read pleadings from all kinds well, what of about cases the that are that happening. Trump, that Trump says. Yeah, but, that also yeah, but that's not the truth. The truth is not the truth. That sounds but, like homework, though, what you just described and, But you have to right now. If your democracy is at stake, you got to do a little bit of homework. Well, is you there, some, is there some podcast where some smart guy would distill it down to some sort of things and do it in mm-hmm. a funny way that maybe they mm. could watch with maybe a beautiful co-host? Joe Rogan. <laughs> no? Oh. <laughs> okay. Fine. No, he's... He doesn't have a beautiful co-host. He's not. He's He's said some things lately that are not the truth, and Mm. it's very Mm -hmm. frustrating. They had a fire. uh, Joe actually said that the fire department, that that, that, uh, Antifa was setting the forest fires on the West Coast. Oh, my God. He said it. What the hell? He said it, and a fireman came out and was like, "Uh, that's not true at all. And then... Then the, sh- the the fire, the sheriff of the town of, of Oregon was like, or whatever from Oregon, one of the big shots goes, no, that's not happening at all. Lightning, oh, come it's, on, it, it's nobody, no conservatives, or they're not setting fires. You, huh. I, I just, Let me just tell you, as hard as the world seems right now, this Saturday night at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, you can see Fortune Feimster It's like again, a month of Prozac. But it's, yeah, but it's a completely all new brand all new brand show. All, All brand, brand new, new show. show. Um, it's going to be this Saturday, the 26th. Yep. And she's going to be here. Um, she is not coming alone. It's going to be her variety show. I'm hoping Brenda shows up. Um, she's going to bring Chris Frangiola, who was one of the writers on Chelsea lately. Very funny comedian. Um, he was on that show more than anyone other than Chewy and Chelsea. He's very funny. They're going to be both performing, and they apparently are going to be Zooming or bringing in live surprise guests, and she's saying it's going to be like a Chelsea Lately reunion. So, so. and here's the great about what Fortune's doing now with this, because we, you know, you guys know on Combustion Live, we started doing these, um, these live stream events, comedy shows, because you guys, I don't want you guys to go out to the comedy club and get sick. I can't wait till this is over because we can't wait to get back in a club. But 
Uh, until that happens, you guys can watch live comedy here. Uh, go to no, Combustion Live. you can't live. come here. You have to stay home. But you can drink as many drinks as you want, and pants are optional. You can watch them through your computer. We'll be here. Yeah. So go to CombustionLive.com to get the tickets. Go where? CombustionLive.com mm. to get the tickets. Uh, uh, I'm going to be doing uh, 20 new minutes of material, plus uh, I'm going to redo uh, Carrying Monsters. Wait. Not that's that coming no. Up. Oh, okay. no, no, that's coming up. He just panicked. Uh, he was, no, like, no, was like, and then also in December, Ray and I are doing our okay, show called when, Us. Slow it down, cowboy. We're when are you going to gonna do Carrying Monsters? Carrying Monsters, I am going to be with doing with all the new stuff and without being the guinea pig in here. Yeah, and then I get to we get to, we get to set up right this time. Yeah. Jesus, I'm so happy. Yeah. I was the guinea audio pig. Audio is on point. Yeah, uh, we will be doing it. I haven't picked a date yet. It's it's coming up though. Is it going to be December? I think it's going to be November, end of November. Right, well, no, yeah, right in November, yes. And also, we haven't put it on sale yet. This one's going to sell like crazy. Ron Funches is coming back. The fourth. But he's on December 4th. He's bringing a Christmas show. Quick it's mix. not going to be the same show. It's going to be a brand new show. It's going to be him with a bunch of special guests as well. So I kind of love that. That's December 4th. And then the week after, you and I are going doing to us. be doing us. Wow, we just laid it out, and I have to. I'm so, I'm so freaked out about that show. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring a shaker of martinis. <laughs> I'll be playing guitar. See, he are is, you? he are is really? going yeah, to play yeah, guitar. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're doing, we're doing characters. There's a, there's a. Uh, Don't yeah. give it away. Just I, let it ride, baby. Yep. Let it ride. That bit's written, thank God. So that's my whole point: is that everything's hard right now, and it's kind of what I was saying to you last week: is that you know when R B G died, you guys know I've been saying on this podcast for a long time that she has to hold on. That yep. has been one of the biggest things that I have really hoped and prayed for, and then it happened, and I really got like, oh my God! And so there's nothing to do. Vote first, and find find your joy find don't mm. let this take your shine find your joy and this joy that we're bringing you is ten dollars for an entire two-hour show each time and three it, cameras live switching it looks like a tv show that's the only way man you got to find ways to not go crazy because it's really mm. easy to get submerged in the darkness mm -hmm. and our job is to not let you stay there and it feels like drowning it seems like every <laughs> fucking day see how he took it right back nightmare. i was no. like everything's gonna be okay and we're gonna laugh and he was like exactly and then slowly <laughs> just dive You're back the, down and as we all the bottom bleed of the ocean. out and the life drains from our souls <laughs> this is exactly you and no, me uh, i'm just saying that it, I, we need it because of that because Do you guys want to know something else every day i was talking i every know day, but it was dark every, i'm just saying no i'm just saying every day it seems like crazy can we just go back to a president where every day like, i remember when obama was president i remember when w was president yeah i didn't it wasn't every day yeah every once every uh, every three months, every couple months. dick yeah, cheney yeah, yeah. shot a guy in the face what whoa, whoa. yeah yeah wait he threw up on the japanese prime minister every once in a while there was some crazy yeah. he got a through a show sh a, a shoe, shoe thrown. A through <laughs> shown at him what a shoe <laughs> thrown at him Rove. I mean, he did have a few Halliburton. He had a few more things, but his dad did. It was a daily. Um, Multiples yeah, daily. Exactly. Like, like 20 <laughs> things. Again, yeah. I have breaking news fatigue. I Every time <laughs> I get in my car to come here, this is the main place I go to ever. I Every day, today, turn it on, Wolf Blitzer. We've got breaking news live from the situation. And I'm like, no, you don't. It's the it's broken. Yeah, the it's news been broken. Yeah. broken. The news Everybody's broken. got it. Everybody's got <laughs> the, the news broken. Is broken. It's just always broken now. And, yeah, and we don't knock have it any, off. And we don't have any upside, and so our upside is going to be Combustion Live. You guys want to tune in, comedy. Uh, on, the, on the new Carrying Monsters I'm doing, I got 20 new minutes about what's going on. And I'm the whole thing's to, being rewritten. Well, I'm rewriting, yes. Well, I just still, decided. I haven't uh, I haven't uh, had the time to really the get it right. The whole thing's going to be rewritten. Yes, uh, uh, yeah, it is. Yep. I need to pump it up, yeah, 100%. So I'll be busy now. <laughs> Do you guys want to hear something else fun? Yes, um, for God's sakes. So yesterday, so. You, Sue, <laughs> um, you were on Tony Horton's uh, Facebook Live. Yep, you guys can still go and watch that. He did an hour from Tony's house. Tony Horton is the P90X guy, good friend of ours. We love him and his wife. And um, so he is launching a new workout. And mm. it's going to be like P90X. Four. 
the next edition. Yeah. And, and you know, he added something. We, we talked about it. He added this thing. Uh, and we're just talking, by the way, they're not advertising with us. Tony's no. just a friend. And, and we, we believe in what they We do. actually used P90X for a long yeah, time. So right. and, yeah. yeah, it was kick ass. Great. Like, you know, Don't really smash weird. your face. You do P90X and you'd be like, that didn't work. That didn't seem that hard. Then you'd get up the next day. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I can't lift my arm. I can't I can't get up my legs <laughs> yeah, exactly. from that wall thing. Was, <laughs> so he's actually coming with this new thing. And, and what he, he, he the one element I find in most workouts that was missing that he put in was the mind work, like the mind. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. He, like he, he, he mindfulness, my, but he calls it mindset, where you, it changes your mindset, mm-hmm. so you get up and you go work out. Yeah, that's so cool. go check it out, guys. Go to tonyhorton.com, right? I'm checking with Shauna, his wife, right now to find out. But what he's doing right we now, we signed up for it. Is they are allowing people to sign up to be part of the beta group. You should totally yeah, sign up for totally. this. Totally, I'll tell. I, him. There's moves that I still use from P90X. Yep. So 100%. he's going to take people and have them go through this three-part workout i think it's three parts i don't know obviously i drink a lot um but he's going to be in one (laughs) please compared to what (laughs) compared to the pope at mass um He's going to be. <laughs> this what? I'm going to zoom in on this. <laughs> I wanted to make it sound better. The Pope. Um, he's going to be in one of the workouts. I got sucked into being in one of the workouts yesterday. Yep. Wait, on the special? Yeah, I mean, on the actual. So he's doing no, beta awesome. testing. Yeah, we're doing beta. We're doing okay, beta okay. Testing. So we are going to be the ones in the workouts along with some other people that then people will sign up to be in the beta group to go through these workouts, say what you think, say what you liked, what you didn't like, and then they take all of that feedback and create the final thing. What part That's of awesome. your body didn't work the next day? Yeah, right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> How many times you had to have your shoulder put back in? Sometimes. So I've I've loved working out with Tony, and now that we're friends, and we we do this we do Ninja Sundays uh, sometimes. I haven't done it since COVID, but uh, I have to say I went. We were at his house yesterday, and I went down to the Ninja course, and I and I was like, oh my god, I'm. Huh. Dude, when I got there, when I first... Oh, did they, you go? Because he said you were going to. You went down there? Here's what happens with Tony Horton. So Tony, Tony Horton works you out. And he, he knows so much about fitness. He beats the crap out of you. You're like, this is horrible. First day I went to Ninja, I could barely get like... You have to the pegboards? Yeah. Bar- I couldn't... Oh, the pegboard. Couldn't do it. Uh-huh, my nemesis. Uh-huh, Honestly, uh-huh. it was literally the joker to my Batman. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, and... Uh, I went yeah, up yesterday hard. and went tink, 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 tink. I'm like, holy crap. Oh, no shit. Yeah. And then I, I, I went across the whole, the, all the balls, and I'm like, oh, my God. I haven't oh. totally lost everything. The hanging doesn't, it doesn't make it better, does it? Okay. So it's the ninja. Uh, n- uh, Where nin- were you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not ninja balls. I, ninja <laughs> balls is worse. <laughs> they're very stealthy, however. <laughs> you never know when they're in the room. <laughs> okay, guys. Tune in Tokyo. We're going to do <laughs> So there, it's uh, he got a ninja course thing, and it's got these uh, pegs that hang down, and you, you have to go across them, you know. And I couldn't do it before; couldn't do it. Went across yesterday, no big deal. Uh, and he's got this uh, the salmon ladder now. He just goes ding ding. He doesn't make a noise now. He's got it so clean. He just goes. Salmon ladder. From salmon ninja. Ladder. Am I speaking? American Ninja Warrior? Yep. You cl- clutter. I'm clustering. Or is it clustering as Tony Horton taught you because he does it and listening to the two of them talk sometimes is like, ah, oh, what? It's like two I do. brain work They eventually patients. make a, a full ten to because speak the half of them quickly. Mm-hmm. It's Most just where you leave off the ends of words and of we never knew. We just thought he mm. just spoke was an really idiot. quickly. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't realize I the was next genius thing. that my brain is faster it's than my mouth. I always forward. knew your yes. brain worked faster than your mouth, but... But Tony Nobody came on the that. podcast. He was one of our first video guests, mm-hmm. I think, our second mm-hmm. one. And he said he also has that, and he has to be very mindful of it, but it's called cluttering or clustering, one of those. Um, I thought he called me a clusterfuck, which was my dad used to he call me. He probably did, and, and it was, too. And he went, no, no, you cluster. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I was like, you all cluster, right, you fuck. <laughs> yeah, there you, you cl- <laughs> No, you cluster, you fuck. There you go. That's the way he said it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, RBG is dead, and I, I'm sorry <laughs> to say that. I want to get back to it because we talked about it. And now we got Mitch McConnell. McConnell, like this is the, I've never seen this in it used to be there was some shame or humiliation there was some sort of I don't remember anybody being this blatantly bald face and by the way if you the, the description of bald face is so Mitch McConnell his entire face in this bald oh, yeah. face. he has a bald, yeah, bald face, face. Yeah, he's yeah. Got, yeah he's got yeah he's got nexticles yeah um and he 
he said when Obama was president, 400 days out, no, 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 we are not, and Scalia died. We it was are not, February of an election year. Right. And he said, no, we are not going to nominate a Supreme Court justice until the new president comes in. We will not do that. Mm -hmm. That's how it goes. Lindsey Graham gets on TV and is like, hey, you can use it against me. We, uh, you use my words against me. If this happens in a, in a Republican's first term and we want to nominate for it, we, we will not do it. Uh, and these motherfuckers And just, then here we are. They bailed on everything. What the? I was and, really and, and, surprised. You know what they said? You know what they said? They go, hey, you said you weren't going to do that. And he's like, yeah, we know. That's that's basically wow. what they did. The entire Republican Party. I was surprised because Susan Collins. What, Collins. I always want to call her Susan Rice. Susan Collins came out and so did Lisa. Murkowski. Krakowski. Hey, hey Krakowski. <laughs> hey, it's Murkowski. Go and look it out. Oh, yeah. She's going to vote no on something. Could She's also a racist. <laughs> Can we get Dennis on the have Supreme we Court? Done, <laughs> have we done a Donald Trump Dennis? Yes, we, we did. did. Dennis on the Supreme Somebody Court. Somebody has is... actually requested that we have a wheel for you, like Fortune no. has a wheel, uh -huh. and that we spin the wheel, wheel of, of who yeah. we're, com we're going to combine Dennis. with Dennis. Yes. Yeah, so RBG like Dennis. Like, that I can't even do RBG. Thing. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse. I refuse to uh, desecrate her memory. You veto okay. that one by doing. Uh, she had a uh, great uh, sense of humor. How would he talk like? How 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 would she talk? Like? <laughs> well, Scalia, we're going to India, Scalia. I saw his wallet. Women's rights. Hi. <laughs> I'm gonna go do four thousand push-ups and beat cancer's ass one more time. <laughs> you shrunk. Like oh, yeah. She's <laughs> tiny. She's this big. She's, she's she's not as big as Groucho. Like she's the smallest Supreme Court justice ever. You, okay, who, okay, who's okay, a good I got Supreme it. Court justice? His, no, his no. eyes cry when you <laughs> yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no. Mick Jagger, Dennis. Mick Jagger, what? Dennis. Oh. All right, all right. <laughs> 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 Done. And <That's> scene. <laughs> Shut me up. <laughs> you never stop. <laughs> you guys are the weirdest. I am. You know what it is? I, I'm just a dancing monkey. I am a dancing monkey for you two idiots. Okay, that... Look at him. <laughs> okay, that might be the best yet. Uh, <laughs> Why would you pick Mick Jagger? Uh, because I was throwing you a softball because to have very distinct personality and speech harder. patterns is easier because you could... RBG, it's like, well, she kind of talked like this. Mick Jagger, you know, and you know Dennis. You, know, you have to do sympathy for the devil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Somewhere Speaking in England a is a Mick yeah, Jagger. There Dennis. Yeah, yes. <laughs> um, it's Bruce Springsteen's birthday today. Happy birthday. Oh, 71. 71. 71. Yep. Uh, yep. He, so happy birthday. To I want to say the first time we saw him together, he was 60. He had just turned 60. That was, you're right. That was actually uh, 2007. 2007 so he was that's really weird because in my mind and seeing him over the years nils too he hasn't aged that's what i was to say he's one of those that doesn't age I he doesn't like age i wouldn't i wouldn't say that i've noticed any difference in how he mm -hmm. looks how he performs how he lives nils and amy same way yep. i don't i don't think of them as having aged at all Do you know what's, what's what's odd is as you get when you from young to 30 there's huge changes mm -hmm. right right and then after from 30 on you just kind of freeze yeah, frame you, for a little bit yeah but yeah. you just get out of focus you just see they, they, yeah. they, 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 over the years this focus just slowly turns down on you and you look a little squintier so yeah. you guys know that my sister was here visiting Yay, for, Shay. for her 50th, 50th not 15th. 15th birthday and my sister is just another me She's like, and when we're together, my mom one time said, y'all are assholes when you're together, which we loved and we laughed. Ah! So it's known that we're assholes. We just amplify each other's assholishness. Yeah. And we were sitting around outside her first night there, and he got very serious. Speaking of getting older, I'm, tying, I'm bringing it all home. And you just got very serious, and you said, you know what? He said, it's so weird. I'm going to die one day. Oh, and my sister so and I just weird. sat there and looked at him for a second, really? and then oh, we're so 
<laughs> we laughed so hard. And the more he tried to explain it, the harder we laughed. It was awesome. Yeah, it was like it was like they were happy I was gonna die. No. Honestly, that's what it was. We laugh at one of them said they definitely. were like, We can't wait. Ah! <laughs> Do you know what it is? It's that we can't handle people being really serious no. and we think that's really funny. What were we watching? We you and I were in bed watching something. <laughs> don't TV. you dare. Don't you dare tell this. It was A G T, don't you dare. A G D. T don't listen whatever he says, don't listen to him. This would make me sound like a really horrible person. Just just imagine <laughs> the worst thing she could have said and then times it by four. And she, I always uh, do during that show. I can be <laughs> you know, like in the world we have to be politically correct, but in our home all bets are off. Uh, yeah. Really? Love so you so you're saying you're a horribly racist, brutal human <laughs> being in your home. I wasn't racist. No, you weren't racist. The first thing that I said <laughs> Horribly that was brutal. Racist, Everything else, yes. kind of cute and not as offensive. There was a girl who has an entirely blind family and her name's Kennedy, but then they put her name on the screen and it's spelled K-E-N-A-D-I and I was quiet for a second and then I said, do you think her parents spelled it that way because they couldn't see? On the <laughs> <laughs> and so then I go into the doctor looking at the birth certificate going, who wrote this? <laughs> and then she's laughing and we're horrible. But it got Sorry. worse. But we're not going to talk about the Didn't other bad worse. things. Was, was it was pretty. It. it was no. It got a lot worse. Uh, no, it wasn't from her. It was other people. You are so. It's you, enough. You should stop talking. Let me just say. So you know what they say about that? I have a problem, and I admit that. Well, you have this thing where you go down a dark road, and you're like, and then you get it me makes laughing. You, you get me laugh. laughing, and then next thing you're like, well, I guess I got to continue down into this darkness. <laughs> yeah. I um. I have accepted I'm on step one where I'm accepting it. <laughs> mm, oh, And God. I've been on step one for <laughs> about 30 steps? years. Oh, okay. So <laughs> you start, okay. Really it's looking a, forward to step two someday. Two. It's a one-step yeah. program. Uh, Go so, ahead. Say something sad again. I was going to say turn. something sad again. I was going to say, you know what I'm hungry for after this fasting? <laughs> you know what I'm really hungry for? What? A big steak. You are? I am. Mm-hmm. What I, kind I, of steak I, I haven't you had, like? Uh, do we have anything from Butcher Box? <gasps> we do. We what? This episode brought to you by Butcher Box. Um, I actually was just emailing some people that were asking us for this information. Um, Butcher Box, not only steak. You can get all kinds of stuff. And I know also that the Hortons, Mr. and Mrs. Horton, were um, getting Butcher Box because they had salmon and things like that. Um, Greg Grumberg was like was up my bed about it. I know. It. It sweet. Oh, we have a new promo code to give him. Good. We'll send it to him today. You need to yep. remember to remind yep. him to do that because Greg wanted to do Greg that. Greg was like, can you have Butcher Box? You come promo code. Yeah. There was a point at where, where you didn't get anything and now you do. This is a crazy deal. We talked about this last week. So, um, Explain what Butcher Box is. Okay, so Butcher Box, number one, you can be agoraphobic. Never leave your house or hate people. It'll come to you. They'll leave it on your doorstep. It's. You can be people aphobic. You can be everything aphobic. You just can't be meat aphobic. And so the meat comes to your door. It's 100% grass fed finished beef, free range organic chicken, heritage breed pork, or wild caught salmon. Um, and also, they sometimes have other things. They had scallops for a while, they have hamburger. Um, it's healthy, chicken it's is humanely stunningly raised. Stunningly good. The chicken it really is. is. Always it's always stunningly good. Pretty night and day difference. Yeah. It's really high quality um, and humanely sourced, which I like. Um, so it comes to your house. You can go online. You can select what you want to put in your box. It's usually about nine to 11 pounds of meat that comes in this really big box. And, um, it's all free of antibiotics and added hormones. Get Um, ready for them again. If you have a freezer, get ready for them again. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. When the shit goes down, (laughs) you better be ready. (laughs) Um, when the shit goes down, packed fresh, shipped frozen, vacuum sealed. So it stays that way. Don't let your grandma see it because she'll try and put it in her purse. She will try to take it on the airplane (laughs) across the country. (laughs) (laughs) Um, it's a no brainer because it comes to your door. You guys know that I love that. You don't have to go to the grocery store. Um, it's also the most affordable and convenient way, obviously, to get healthy, humanely raised meat. When you go to the store, you don't know what you're getting. Um, and they have estimated that it averages out to about $6 per meal. Wow, so oh, that's pretty good. It's pretty awesome. Not Didn't person, you price this out before? Um, they also do free shipping nationwide, and that um, does not include Alaska and Hawaii because we don't really count you yet, apparently. Um, you're far. <laughs> now, even all these companies looked at the price to ship it there, and they went, it's far. So far. if you're far, 
you got to pay for shipping. Or if Sarah Palin is in your state, you yeah. have to pay for shipping. <laughs> so, and I get that. It, and um, you're far. You guys, seriously, just go do it. Just play around with it, which I did before I started ordering it. It's, the it's ad really done. cool. Um, it's They're offering a really awesome deal right now. My dad is doing this because my dad was like, what? Um, they're offering new members. If you go online and sign up for this now, ground beef for life. So for the entire life of your subscription, you'll get two pounds of ground so it's beef. hamburgers forever. In every box of your subscription. If you That's stay the bonus. Wow. That's not the stuff that you put in the box. Mm, right. All you have to do is go to butcherbox.com slash Titus. That's butcherbox.com slash Titus. I love this company. I really do. Makes a big difference. My yes. doctor just yesterday told me to order from online ButcherBox. Did he? Yeah. Why? Because of Why? my hands. What did he yeah, say? I heard How this does phone this call. work? I heard this well, phone call yesterday, so I'm, I'm in the other room and I hear him going, no, I'm washing my hands too much. I don't know what's going on. Do you yeah. have an OCD thing with it? Like uh, the hand washing? Probably, yes. Yeah. Let's just, uh, I mean, look, I'm going to zoom in on this. Look at this. He's, I've got been, a, he's got a kid and he doesn't want to get COVID. Yeah. And? He doesn't know where we are all the time. Although well, we only also, see you. According to, right. him, <laughs> right. Same according to him, you go to the bathroom more than anyone else on the planet. So maybe True. it's just that he's washing his hands every time, but he happens to be there 97 times per day. Well, if sometimes right. you walk past the bathroom, he's obviously washing his hands in shit. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> that's what it smells like. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? There's no dignity <laughs> right. in him. Do you, you never you seen my like, act no dignity. Oh. If someone ever something horrible, he's or always going oh to be gosh. like your little brother. <laughs> if you ever try and get a date or anything, he's going to be. Let me tell you about how he poops. <laughs> you know Highlander poops. That's not true. So your doctor said I heard that she was like you were talking. Oh, to like you had to cut back on all of the just going out and because I'm in and out of the car and I'm you got hand sanitizer in the car and you know the different Did this soaps start everywhere during COVID. Yeah, this started like a week after COVID. Ow. Yeah. Ow. It's bad. It's You're bad. burning through your hands, dude. You got Yeah, stop. I'm literally burning through my hands. I mean, my I have sensitive skin. So you wow. heard it here first, ladies. I He's do. I have sensitive. sensitive. Skin. He's like a baby. <laughs> but one of the suggestions was: Don't you dare relate it to poop. Don't you do it. I saw it in your head. <laughs> I saw it. And not the doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay, carry on. I'll just end it there. How about so? That? How is that That's going good. to fix that? Uh, less frequent uh, trips to the supermarket because in and out of the car, oh, hand so sanitizer, oh. too much of it. Because you're I'm anytime, going, me too, in and I'm out. Going in and out, me I too. do it again. And so if it's in the store everywhere, I do it. I'm yep. pumping it. Oh. And then I clean the I clean the handle me on too. the thing. And, you know, just like just like the smart. alcohol dries up your thank skin. Thank you guys for being smart. <clears throat> Someone has thanked me. I was talking to Tony uh, to, yesterday. There's so many dumb people. He goes, him and his, his, his uh, wife went out to dinner and nobody had masks on. I'm like, guys, what are you doing? What the hell? I went and picked up food at this great... Uh, the people, if you're in L.A., go to a place called Mercado, some of the best Mexican I tweeted about had. this. This yeah, is my favorite Mexican place. They, I love Mexican food. It's Mercado. They make everything not, fresh, yeah, even their tortillas. Yeah, no, I'm getting to the important part. Right. This is my ad for you. If you awesome. live in this area, they are now offering their jalapeno, fresh muddled jalapeno, cucumber, margaritas with top shelf silver tequila to go. To go. Get in a little and they're putting them in the juice, the plastic juice bottles with the white label so it looks like green juice so you can like mm -hmm. not feel quite as guilty about drinking 17 of them. Even though every bottle is apparently and if you drink three drive, drinks you each. You get away with it for a Oopsie. bit. <laughs> Three no, drinks each it's bottle. It's just juice. <laughs> well, it's he, agave plant. <laughs> when he made them, they were huge. And I was like, well, he goes, no, I just did one for you and one for me. And I said, but every bottle is three of their margaritas. Like, oh that was a fun night. That was a fun night. We we did, yeah, at one point we were sitting at the table and uh, with no TV on and you and I talked for like an hour and a half. And we know each other. Where we, and this we, happens all the time. <laughs> and then we went and watched AGT. <laughs> and made each other laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but nobody's is paying attention to it. So you said the, everyone there, right? Everybody at the restaurant. I just go pick up food. I get out of the car. I got my mask on. I mm -hmm. wipe my hands. Mm -hmm. I get out of the car. I go in, 
and everybody's out front and no it's it's I, people are freaking out about not going out i guess we live in a town los angeles that is so just party town everybody's out and i didn't realize that everyone's wearing short skirts people like i can't they're like almost like yeah i'm out man mm-hmm, this is awesome mm-hmm. nobody's wearing masks tables of six just this close to each other Nobody and I, I, I thought, or oh, fucked. We're this, still in this, guys. Yeah, this, we don't have a vaccine. We're not just in it. We're getting forty thousand people are getting it a day, and a thousand people a day are dying. And flu season's coming. <clears throat> no, that's what they were saying. They said so. The beginning of the pandemic in nineteen eighteen, they sixty five thousand people died. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. That then that up till fall. Yeah. And then, like three hundred and seventy five thousand mm-hmm. people died. So fall is coming. We're all going to be inside. People are going to be uh, getting this and giving it to each other because there's no plan, as I said in the Armageddon update. Mm-hmm. Um, people wear your mask. Here's what people don't understand. They're like, man, my freedom. Well, then go through a stoplight then. then yeah. Don't stick to that red light. You know, take off that seatbelt. You know, fine. If you're going to, if, you, if, if your freedom's being taken away, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. Fucking, just don't, don't, don't follow Let any rules. Let your kids sit in the front seat. With right. you, right? Maybe, right? Just strap and or don't let strap, ride don't your strap them in. Uh, don't, it's your freedom, that kid's freedom. But that's what I'm saying. Is like, you obviously know I'm joking. Some people don't. People are stupid, and here's what they don't get. We used to be a country that cared about each other. We used to be a country during World War II. People stopped what they were doing. They brought. They actually gave their medal to the government so they could build weapons. They actually were donating. People were going out mm-hmm. and picking up mm-hmm. uh, whatever it was, tires, food, mm-hmm. helping the soldiers, helping families. That's who we used to be. Yeah. What has happened? Yeah. It, and and it, by the way, I'm not saying this is disintegrated over. This has been four years. Mm-hmm. We're less than mm-hmm. four years, and this has happened. We've forgotten about each other, and mm-hmm. and I, I and I have to be honest. In tw- on Twitter and some of my social media, I am as bad as anybody, and I need to stop it. You people that vote for Trump and like Trump, I want you to know something. I do not hate you at all. I think you're misguided, I, and the facts don't back up anything you believe. They just don't. That's okay. You're still my fellow Americans, and honestly, I got your back. What, the, to your point, it's like that, we talked about this last week, but that Marine who was like, masks are for pussies. Okay, you can be a tough guy and you can go ahead and get COVID, but you're going to spread it because yeah, you're not wearing right. a mask, you dumb motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and grandma's going to get or, it. You're in the military, right? Aren't you supposed to be protecting, protective of p- other people? Like, that's why you signed up, right? But that's what's happened. This bro, we have this bro mentality now. And it used to be we cared about each other and we don't anymore. Hmm. And I do. That's why I'm here to bring you positivity and light. Don't let anybody steal your shine. By the way, if you want to jump in on this workout, this Tony Horton workout that he's going to be in, he'll be doing martial arts. What? Um, Join PowerNationBeta.com. PowerNationBeta, that's it. Join PowerNationBeta.com. If you can't remember that, go to Tony Horton's Facebook page so you can watch this interview with him. But this is kind of my favorite thing. So I clicked on his Facebook page and underneath the interview that you guys did live, <laughs> what did he do? I think probably like he had other people on there and they were like, yeah, bicep curls are awesome and take you know, this pre-workout powder. And if you just kind of read some of the comments of <laughs> <No> yours, <laughs> it's like, um, this one kind of made me sad. Ready? Here's a comment just on you hanging out with Tony Horton. Yep, my grandma hung herself at 72. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom died from rectal cancer <laughs> at 62. <laughs> but, but I get it. What the hell? Okay. The next post, wow, he's had a hard life. Here's what's happened. Here's what happened. So Tony starts talking (laughs) about comedy and how you talk, what the stories you tell, and it's different, and and it's so dark. And I go, well, you know, you you, got to live life. We were talking about positivity and your mindset. And I've started talking about all these things that have happened, and my mindset changes Mm -hmm. Every everything I said a lot of things that have happened in my life would have driven people to do bad things Mm -hmm. alcohol you know it hasn't for me because I have a different mindset Mm -hmm. about it and uh, so I started talking about mom mom we went talked about suicide my sister and my mom and 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 Tony just Tony had this look like you can see like we don't usually talk about this on this side. <laughs> you get it. This, one, no, this is the workout cool. today. He was cool. He was like, we usually don't talk about it. Because he's the do your best and forget But the he's rest. like, you just talk about it like it's nothing. I go, no, I've just got, I've just to a place with it where you, 
I think so many people add so much to events in life and it's what happened and what happened how did I deal with what happened well that and, and that's helpful. you gained access to it and I have too as well now um, although I haven't been on stage so long I was thinking today I don't remember my material and someone on stage without material is just a stripper <laughs> so <laughs> yeah but you welcome would be, to the next you, chapter in my life step it up um literally in clear heels on the pole yeah um but uh, you do gain access it's not only by talking about it and then writing jokes about the situation not about the bad thing right. but about what happened around it it's then watching them laugh mm -hmm. seeing them be uncomfortable and then seeing them get the absurdity too and laughing and then after the show people coming up and saying to me you know like you know i lost my mom to cancer i lost my dad to pancreatic mm -hmm. cancer i was a caregiver and with you how many times have you heard from people about suicide that yep, have been yep, touched by yep. suicide or or mental illness it's every other person in line with you yep. and so it does dispel it for us a little bit so not only are you f like fully processing the what happened to you you're also now it becomes like a shared experience and that's even more of and the that's all people that are grieving need is a mm -hmm. shared experience because and the number one problem with yeah. grief yep. is that you feel alone you feel like yeah. you're the only one that feels this way and no one would ever want to listen to you talk about it or be around you because you're so miserable and so mm. you really feel isolated and that feeds on itself and you're right shared experience changes it it I really had, does I, I had the opposite experience when my father passed away <laughs> really <laughs> that i i thought everybody had the same experience that i did I and then all there, you know, I was, I guess, not. And that was, um, well, uh, so oh, now about I'm. About his death or about your dad? Oh, about my dad. Right, right, right. Uh, you know, about all that. No, we have the same. We much. have it. Yeah. So, yes, we have the I same. I don't have So, that. I had that for, and it's weird because you could always tell my show when, uh, especially when I wrote Norman Rockwell and I was really delving into it, I really yeah, started yeah. to attack it. Man, it was so funny to watch people who, because before at Norman Rockwell was bleeding, I was this happy act. And then uh -huh. I was like, I'm going to be me now. Yeah. And you'd see people that were like, some people were like, yeah, hold on, this guy. And other people were like, no, no. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. I had some people, when I first switched my act before people before I became this guy that everybody knew that, that this is the kind of comedy I did, man, there was this transition period where we used to come see him and he was really happy. We don't want to see him anymore. I huh. want to see some Jim. Jim Gaffigan's brilliant and he's a great comedian and he doesn't take me to this dark place. Let's go. <laughs> and so they would go see Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> and they didn't come see me anymore. When I first we saw have oh, to because we've talked about this forever. Put up those videos of him oh, yeah. on YouTube yeah. from before because I don't think people will believe it. It's obviously you, but you herkied as a regular thing on stage in giant you know MC Hammer pants. We should put it as the as the pre roll. I mean, <laughs> okay, did. so we have it. I'll bring those in, and, and we then will. you air. High five! I air high five people. the audience. I, <laughs> yes. yeah, dude, oh. classic. It was trying so and hard yet, to get I over. And yet, I will say this: as a performer, I turned to him. He was brand new at comedy. I finally saw this, and he's running. It's very Robin Williams. He's running back and forth, yeah, and like with this, with this. No, no, I'm even standing like he this. He stands I'm like, like, oh my god, what are we yeah, doing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, it's oh, oh no, it's and embarrassing. And it's so I, fast. And I told him, I said, God, you had to be exhausted, and he killed. I mean, as a comedian i could hear in you were in san jose somewhere yeah. in that one video yeah. he was killing they loved him but it's not him now at oh, all oh no 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 there was no substance at all there I was no like there there but it was a lot of we <laughs> it was yeah it was we've yeah. teased this a lot we have to you and i have to stay focused on getting these videos and putting them yeah. on I'll, youtube i'll bring them in yeah. i'll bring them because in. i think people would trip out Okay. Uh, it, it almost we we should, I'll bring him in and we'll discuss what to do with them because right. it might be it All might right. be have awesome. to do an interview thing and how comedy progresses because yeah. you when you see these videos you're like <laughs> I sat there with her and I went no I sensed I remembered them kind of being like that but yeah. when I saw them I was like I'm flat out stealing from Robin Williams I mean, I'm not doing any jokes of Robin Williams but I'm trying to be Robin Williams yeah. We should yeah. we should have it and then have your reaction <laughs> right in the corner. <laughs> you the cringe were the cringe. Uh, Do you know what though? With him, it was just like every seven minutes. Then he would say like the darkest thing ever, and you're like, oh, oh okay, he's, there he's, he's, he's in there. It's, it's coming he's out. He's in there, there he and then he would flop his hair back and forth and dance. I had and a punchline indicator. 
I had a punchline your indicator. Hair, your hair I flopped. would do, because my hair was part on the side, and it had this giant three-foot wave, mm -hmm. uh, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. Bro, can we surf your head? That's what people, and I would, and, so i do a joke, and I'd go, and it would go, <laughs> and people would be like, hey, his hair's moving. Some, when I first started out in comedy, when I wasn't doing comedy, but I was running clubs and stuff, um, the punchline indicator that made me insane was the drink from the beer on the stool oh. or the puff of the cigarette. Because back then, when I started out, you could smoke in mm -hmm. comedy clubs. Mm -hmm. I was in the South. Yep. That lasted way longer than it did here. Yep. So they'd do a joke, and then Ron White used to do it. And I think Ron White, honestly... I think he's a brilliant comedian. Yep. I'm not saying he's groundbreaking in his content, but that dude, wow, he Timing. knows. Never oh, seen gosh. it. Never, never, uh, or also a sardonic quips. I've never seen a dude come and up with the exact. And lovable, right word. Yeah. the lovable rogue. I used to watch him before he hit. They had filmed the blue collar comedy tour, but it didn't take off. It wasn't a thing, and so he was still getting fifteen hundred dollars for seven shows. He had to do three shows at my clubs on Saturday. We had a midnight show, mm. hammered by the midnight show. Next time he came back, I had to make him drink. Um, I would make a scotch glass with water and a splash of coke, so it looked like scotch because he needed that punchline indicator. And then I'd let him start drinking second show because, wow. Oh yeah, but he also had that John Wayne thing. Like he, whatever, oh, yeah. whatever. Uh, that was that phrase. Yeah, he, he, one of his legs is hollow. The demand. I've never seen a dude drink as much as. Uh, and I got to work with Ron White years and years ago at the Punchline. When in he was still cowboy hat. Atlanta, when he was cowboy hat, Ron White. Bolo and, tie. And and he, yes, bolo tie. And we spent a week in a condo, and I never seen a man drink that much. It's, it's amazing. Awesome. Yeah. But honestly, I was like, Dad. I think that's, <laughs> why I <did> that. <laughs> that's why I never want to work with this kid again. He keeps <laughs> standing in my bedroom saying, Papa. Uh, going to hug for he me. honestly, to me, he was one of the first comics that I really watched, and I really do see his brilliance. And he is yep. a yep. performing master. Yep. He knows how to draw them in and then hold them. Yep. And I know that that's probably a surprise coming from me, given the comics that I usually like, but Ron, well, he's brilliant. It doesn't matter. Comedy, comedy transcends so many. I mean, we can all. I mean, uh, uh, Maria Bamford. I mean, you. you I, I guess I would say you, Ron White, and Maria Bamford. But if when you once you're a comic, you get what. If you're a good comic, you get what other people do. They don't have to do the same. They're thing. doing their thing right. really well. There's a lot of very popular comedians. I don't think are very good I don't comedians. Either. Maria you know, Bamford though is awesome. Holy yeah. crap! There's guys that are hugely popular. That I, I watch and I go, this is this is the same shit that Middle Axe did. In, in the 80s. Maria Bamford's one of those where I watch those guys yeah. and go, you people should like Maria Bamford more than you like him. Like, yeah. come watch her. But I took a, my mahogany, everybody knows mahogany, and she's a cop, federal probation officer, and she's very cut and dry. I watched Maria perform. I took Mo with me, and I just sat there like, I'll never be that good. I'll mm. never. Like, I, Maria has this whole other level. Right. And at the end, I thought, mahogany is just going to be blown away and she's sitting in front of me she turns around and she goes i don't get it mm. and that was her whole synopsis of the show and that's maria's brilliance i think i you didn't know? understand that that's a good thing until I, yes until 1980 yes. no sorry 1993 4 i understood that I, I, I didn't, I no longer wanted everybody, to, I didn't give a shit if any, mm -hmm. everybody got it. Yeah. I wanted to write well enough where 5% where, where of the people were like, oh, fuck this guy. Yeah. That, then I know I'm bang, banging up against something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying I always reach it, but at least now I'm not You're as, trying. Yeah, I'm not as freaked out anymore. Because the weird thing is, you ever have an audience member come up to you and go, this happens sometimes, people. Every once in a while, you'll be, there'll be one person, show, kill. One person will walk up to him and go, you know what? I bet you did. Yeah. And they just, they're furious. I did a joke uh, in uh, Norman Rockwell's Bleeding. Uh, I bet he got 50 bucks. I was more dysfunctional than he was. And uh, and he raped me. So I tipped him. Very competitive. Good joke. Uh, one night, I get done. I'm, I'm signing stuff after the show. Guy comes up to me and he's furious. Furious. He's like, dude, I want to talk to you. I'm like, what? What? And he's like, that, that, all that rape material you did? It's one joke at the end of the show. One joke. All that material. It's one mm -hmm. joke. All that rape material you did? My girlfriend's in the bathroom crying right now. She got raped. And I said, that's what an asshole I am. I go, 
I didn't rape her. <laughs> he, he didn't laugh. He, 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 he didn't laugh at all. He <laughs> just looked at me and I was like, no, seriously, just bring her out. And I talked to her. I said, hey, it's just a joke. You know, it's just That's a the joke. thing. You're not joking about rape. No, I'm That's, not. This, That's this the point. This is the crap that right. drives me crazy now, like how sensitive people are. Our job is to be the dumb, just, we're the jesters. We're the court jesters. Right. We're just supposed to talk about everything and be silly. You weren't, if had you gotten up there and been like, rape is awesome. Right. I exactly. love rape. Please, nobody sound bite that and put <laughs> my will. name under they it. They will. <laughs> um, rape is horrible. Don't do it. And yeah, wow. Um, that's not what you're saying. You're just using the word inside of a joke that really doesn't have anything to do with rape. You're talking about dysfunction. I just it think drives alcohol, me crazy. Alcohol drives people to a weird place sometimes in a club. And we've had so many weird, weird reactions. But it yes, just, we have. I just don't understand that how some people can hear one word and be triggered by I had a I mean. guy... I mean, you know, and I mean, fury, not like kind of annoyed, not like rolling his eyes like, I don't like this girl. Like and scared we need to get you out of here with the security. Yes, yes, which they did because I was doing um, pro-women kind of feminism material mm -hmm. and it wasn't anti-male. I nope. never put men down in my show. I just build women up and he, I've never seen that level so of rage. I mean, rage. I mean, and he was second row and he was with a girl and the more angry he got, the more she kind of folded mm -hmm. in on herself, which pissed me off. And then we, he and I ended up going at it because it was, it was so palpable. I couldn't go on anymore. This was Raleigh Durham. This was yeah. yeah. So it was the weekend my <laughs> ring, my Tiffany's engagement ring got stolen. I blame Raleigh for all of this, <laughs> even though I'm from right by there. But um, <laughs> but also because I'm from right by there and people I'm related to live there, I still blame you. Um, this was in the in the 90s, was it? No, back this in the was 90s, just last man. year. It was last year. This year was a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago. Yep. And I can I mean shaking fury. And I finally I go off on him and. And I she make jokes. Him. The audience is like, mm -hmm. <gasps> and nice. Um, nice. and I, I, they're all with me. And then he's still staring at me. And I look back at him, and he goes, "You may go on." Like he's allowing me to go on, and what? then you know, the I lost was with. my oh. shit. Uh -huh. The girl he was with did not have a bank account. Just want to say that. <laughs> no, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he didn't let her. Exactly. He didn't let her. So I just lost my shit. I went off. I got the whole audience against him. They were cheering. He was humiliated. She's going, please be quiet, like that to him. And then he comes out. Well, at this point, and I he's hear been watching. There's a commotion going on, and I'm very fiercely defensive of her in the sense of like, if you're gonna, first of all, she's she you know she's a comic, she's doing she's great at it, but also she's my girl, and like you don't uh -huh. like you don't get to be a, you don't get to be an asshole. Sometimes mm -hmm. I have to talk him down. He's the pit bull in the corner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Bill Burr yeah. bit, I always say that in the yeah. Bill Burr bit about his pit bull, is that the guy? So I got well, up. that's him. So uh -huh. I got up and I just I just I, hey, everybody, how you guys doing? Hey, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did. I, I like, oh. And I, I go, let's talk right now. So, so just so you know, man, uh, um, I've never seen a dude that is, that is this big of a pussy. That, and I, that's where I started. And the audience was like, uh, uh, what's uh, happening? Is this, is this yeah, a bit? Yeah. Wait. And, uh, and uh, they, they were, no, they, you had got him so amped up and they knew who the dude was. And he was just like, <sighs> the guy was so mad. He was so mad. They ended up dragging him out, but he was he was yelling stuff. He, it was awful. But that's what I'm saying. We deal, there's always, you're, yeah. you're always going to piss somebody off. Yeah. yeah, so why not just be true to your art, do what you got to do? In the yeah. beginning, I pissed people off because I sucked. <laughs> this is way better. It's different. That's yeah. not an artist being that an artist. That's because she's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and, and all I say is is that you, whatever you're doing, uh, and that's what, I think that's what's bothering me. I'm going to bring it back to this administration now. Okay. Um, the CDC right now is like this guy, they, they're, just, they're just backing off and they're scared. At one point, what are they afraid of? Here's what I don't get. We're America. We're not North Korea. What happened? Mm -hmm. It used to be down. people stepped up. I guess Vinman. Vinman stepped up and told him the truth. They oh, lost his the job. Oh, by the way, go watch his wife's Twitter account. It is awesome. Who, Vinman? Alexander, Cur Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vinman's wife has a Twitter account and she is sassy. Yeah, good. And I like it. But so what's happening? So we got the CDC, uh, whatever's Ray, whatever his name, Raven, whatever the hell's name is, and he, Rayburn. They, they put up. 
the CDC rules. They've done the research. Now, they, COVID, by the way, is not just droplets, which is the, my, the worst word ever. And it actually is aerosolized now. It'll, it'll actually mm-hmm. not go six feet. It'll go up to 26 feet. Yeah. And it aerosolizes so it floats in the air. It's mm-hmm. small enough now to float, and you can breathe it in and get COVID where you weren't even hanging with these people. Right. So they put that on the CDC website. Day later, pulled. I know. They've done the science. Well, and and so when did we stop being this country that stood up for rights? You know, when I don't do you think get, we have. When, I just think that the loudest voices right now are evil. But winning at all costs costs all. Yeah. Like like you know, we, well, that's what I'm saying. All they care about is winning, though. And we all, if we you win at all costs, the other side loses. We got to find a place in America, man, where we don't all lose. And that's what I was saying. You Trump people, hey, you know whatever. You're my fellow Americans. You've come to my shows. We're fine. I just want to be clear. Just go on the guy's record. Do me a favor. Just look up the record. That's why I called you on. Don't try to win. No one cares. Just go on his record. Just educate yourself and ask yourself this: If the dude was a Democrat with this record, would you vote for him? That's it. Mm-hmm. Would you? No plan, 200,000 dead. Can you imagine if a Democrat was president right now and it's basically the country's on fire, peep, everybody's mm-hmm. sick? Can you imagine oh, yeah. the shit yeah. that would be going down? What and, Fox News would be saying about Oh, it's just insane to me. It's insane to me. Just um, just educate yourself, you know? Educate. Educate. Look up, you can look up the pleadings from some of these court cases where he's trying to withhold his financial documents. You can look up the decision from the judge where he's no longer ever or his children ever to sit on the board of a charity ever because they took money that was donated to the charity, the Trump Foundation, that was for children and veterans, depending on the fundraiser, and used it for personal gain, Chil- like buying a painting of himself. It was for children with cancer. Yeah. So just look up those things. You can actually read those court documents and see where he signed and agreed that he would no longer sit on the board of a 501c3. Um, Trump University he settled for 25 million you can go and read these decisions read it's it's all public record just go look at it and see you know it's like Cindy McCain came out yesterday and that's a true American that's someone that says I am a Republican yep still but I am an American first country over party country over party first person I think that has done that I thought Mitt Romney kind of did it during the impeachment and now he's He's you know so you said the other day he and Susan Collins need to go have a baby the worst (laughs) shittiest baby ever (laughs) I was like what just happened I've been drinking those mojitos those what are those margaritas margaritas. Uh I'm like yeah Susan Collins and Mitt Romney you gotta have a baby Mormon church would kick his ass out and that baby couldn't make a decision it's a fucking weak baby but <laughs> baby, baby, that baby has no sense and rights. That baby, you know, I rambled. Has no balls. I rambled. Ninja. That is a ball. This is a baby. Ninja balls. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> called it back. Nice calling back ninja balls. Thank you. But just go and educate yourself. And you're not wrong if you voted for him. Um, but it's important that we vote 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 and if you have friends that haven't registered they can still register to vote and if they don't know how to help them vote and I want to talk um, about it's very easy right now and the lie the biggest lie okay there's something set up and people this guy's always always so as much as i say trump is dumb i think he's diabolically smart when it comes to what he wants they keep saying that this mail-in ballot thing is phony and fake it's not in fact, you can't hack a mail-in ballot. You can't. That you sign it with your signature. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. have your. They have your signature on your license, on yeah. your da- on your re- on the registration that you even need to get the ballot. They have it on you on the back. They can look. They just look it up. They just pull it up and go. That's the same. That's the same. That's what. That's how your vote gets counted. Right. Right. You can't hack it. You've signed it. Your signature matches your license. You're good. You can't hack every single one of these voting machines. Go look on YouTube, people. They have kids going in. Rip. Hacking voting machines. It's pretty crazy to watch. The reason he wants you to go vote in person is because the voting machines are hackable. The reason he doesn't want you to mail in your ballot is because it's not hackable. Well, that and he knows that a lot of people won't vote in person during COVID. Right. So it's dangerous, especially older people. Mm -hmm. And so he knows he's going to stop a lot of people from voting by saying the only way to vote is in person. 
It, he's it, it's it's just nutty. So we had a, some people that listen to the podcast for a long time actually say that because of listening to this Shirley Perez yep. that she has requested an absentee ballot oh, and that mm-hmm. she's not mailing it in. She's going to hand walk it to the clerk's office. Mm-hmm. Yep. So do everything that you can to make sure that it's in in enough time. The Trump campaign just won a lawsuit in Pennsylvania where we talked about this with the you have to um, they're not going to accept your ballot in an envelope. It has to be inside the other secrecy envelope inside an envelope, which (sighs) for disenfranchised people or minority voters, this is information that they may not Mm -hmm. be getting. Right. Mm -hmm. And so those the judge has agreed that those votes will not be counted. And so handstand, walk and spin. So so here's what I don't do what you have to do. So let's say let's say this. Let's say this guy was killing it. Let's say COVID had got stopped. Let's say that the economy was roaring. uh, Unemployment was down to Three percent, everything was killing it. I don't like the guy, but I would have to go. Uh, I get why you're voting for him. Mm-hmm, right. What I don't get is that what are these people getting? They're not getting anything. I mean, farmers. I mean, he's giving farmers our tax money, but they're not. Their deal sucked with China. Got cut, cut down. Their deals shit with China. China's kicking our ass still. Uh, no new factories open up in this country. Nothing. The wall's not built. In fact, the part he did build blew Bell. over. Bell. Yeah, um, that was bad. Uh, Mexico has not. Again, as I said in the Armageddon update, has not sent us a Venmo for that wall. They have not paid for that wall. Like as he's told us, they would. He's not shown his taxes. He's done nothing. He has no plan for COVID. So my question. The question is, what are you getting? What are you getting? What are they getting? I don't understand. Well, what was on was your aunt and uncle, and your uncle is very intelligent. And even he said, this is the worst time in American history, and he's a Trump supporter. And I went, we need to change it, right? Don't we need a change? And he said, absolutely. Something's got to give. Someone has yeah, but, but he never once approached. But uh, he doesn't blame Trump for it, and so that's but the how? disconnect. How does he not? Because I keep trying to explain this to you guys. Fox News and OAN, which one of my family members is on, true, very close family member, mm. and her. He's, he's new. No, no. Oh, she's on too. Yes, I love them both. Twice this week. <laughs> so. That's all they're seeing, and they're not getting the whole story. And what they're hearing is radical left, Mm -hmm. socialism, abortion. (laughs) We had someone come up with about... uh, Democrats. Yeah. Democrats. Mm-hmm. Our our uh, our family. Uh, two these, by the way. Uh, our, my aunt and uncle are two people I love dearly, and uh, we thought we brought up um, Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris. Kamala. Kamala. I said it right. I caught myself and fixed it. Your Ka- uncle called her Kamala. I'm like, what is Kamala. it going to take no. to get a white man to say her name Kamala. correctly? And, uh, and what happened was, my aunt goes, "Oh, you radical left," and we we burst. We actually, her and I burst out laughing because if you know uh, what Kamala Harris has done, she's pissed off the the, the, the liberals left so far right. because. She right. was like, no, the law is the law. Law and boom, order. Boom, law and order. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. But yeah. what they're being told on There's Fox told is this. she's yes. yeah. radical. Check her record. His aunt actually said she's way too radical for me, and I went. Yeah, we were like, what are you talking about? It's like their super label that they can, that they can you know, get so people to So that's why I'm saying you got to educate yourself. If you have a question, look it up online. You can find it. Don't find it on a news website. Find it on court websites, on the whitehouse.gov website. Find it even, um, you know, NPR is a better news source. Um, I yeah, don't know. We're, so we're literally, what, five weeks? Six, five yeah. weeks away? About five mm-hmm. weeks away. So we're probably going to talk about this a lot. People, do me a favor, do some research. Uh, and one more thing, be very clear. A lot of people are going to tell you your vote's not important. Well, if it was worthless, they wouldn't even talk about it. They're telling you it's not important because it's super important. Please, please, please. If you're 18, 19, 20, even. Get your friends, plan, drive old people that you know, just vote. Like, however you're going to vote, vote. It's the most, it's the only chance we have. How come Bernie and Warren and all these other people haven't stepped up and aren't just beating the bushes for Biden right now? I don't know, Mm -hmm. but Cindy McCain came out. Cindy McCain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Here's how that is. Cindy McCain came out and was like, no, this dude's a moron. I'm voting for Biden. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the other, uh, there's a new video of more. Trump too. Did you, see that, did you see that thing at the, at the rally where he just goes, he goes, they talk about Trump, Trump to Trump. They said, wait, what about Trump, 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 Trump,
he just he his brain switches off. Here's the thing that's Wait. weird. Like your uncle said to me, he goes, "Oh yeah, did you hear Biden where he actually said two hundred billion instead of million?" And I went. How do you have the balls as a Trump supporter <laughs> yeah. to make fun of any little flub that another candidate? Are you kidding me? Of the 90, he thought coyotes day. coming over the border were dogs. Like, <laughs> give me a break. Person, woman, that man, camera, TV. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, yeah, so we got to go. We've said enough, but here's right. the main thing. I've thought about this. Um, we watched this uh, service. I know some of you just went, ha, ah! um, but it, spoke to both of us and he was talking about you're mistaken if you're fighting other people you're fighting evil and so be very aware that we're all in this together and that we all think that we're fighting for what's best and for what's right but we got to stop trying to kill each other and focus on fighting the evil that is find something to be i didn't believe in evil until mitch mcconnell i didn't believe there was evil. yes you did i met your ex-wife that's true i just saw that do something that makes you happy. Even like us being quarantined well, I didn't now. Believe, I didn't believe in the C word. I so. started a foundation <laughs> for my mom called Sharon Orleans Lawrence Foundation. It's, it's going awesome. to give grants and scholarships um, and bringing art to inner city schools and grants and scholarships to underprivileged college students, which means all of them, and um, for art uh, majors. And so I was able to do that because I have time off. And so find something, do something, so that when you come out of this, that you can say, here's what I did. I'm better you can, and I'm a fuller person. I'm, a, I, I'm better now. Even though life was hard, I mm -hmm. look at what I accomplished, right? Yep. So that's what I'm saying. You're super negative. I'm trying to be super I'm positive. not super negative. And by the way, guys, if you want to uh, stop being super negative, watch some comedy. Uh, go to CombustionLive.com. Fortune Feimster this Saturday. Trust our favorite. Me. She's our favorite. Trust me, I guarantee it's a three camera shoot. It looks like a, it looks like a TV show. It looks like a TV show. It's so awesome what we do. And we got, she's we like got great stupid sound. funny. She's ridiculously funny. Uh, CombustionLive.com. Get tickets for this weekend, Saturday night. Get them. Ten dollars. Uh, Ten bucks. Uh, thanks for uh, listening to us and watching us, guys. Please subscribe on the channel on YouTube. If you want to follow me, it's at Titus Nation on Instagram and Twitter. If you want to follow Ray Ray, it's at Ray Ray Bradley on Twitter. And, and Instagram. And Instagram. And if you want to follow uh, the Willing Bureau. Hey, there you go. Traveling Willing Bureau <laughs> Berries. <laughs> <laughs> Traveling Willing Berry berries. Bureau. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute um, one. True. Okay. So this has been the Titus Podcast. He's a puppet maker. Stay happy. Don't listen to him. No, I I am happy. I will make you happy. I just I I I'm just gonna be ready. Look, look, Pollyanna here <laughs> is fine, but they never survive. No, I'm a cynical no, in all, those, in all those movies, that's true. In all those movies in the post-apocalyptic world, Pollyanna, there's no Pollyannas. They all they die quickly is what happens. She had her own movie. Who? Pollyanna. She did? And she chose not to be in the apocalypse, clearly. She <laughs> chose to headline her own movie. You guys didn't watch so Pollyanna. What do you mean she did? Movie. The what? movie Wait, Pollyanna? Movie? In 2020. Are you kidding Pollyanna me? Pollyanna is a sign of mental illness. How do you not know that there was a movie named Pollyanna where she fell off the roof? Wait, oh, so that, it went wait. so well. It went so well for her. So she was obviously so insane. <laughs> there it is. We're Point done here. Do you guys Point know made. that there was a movie called Polly? There's a movie. I watched, I think it's Disney. It has to be Disney because she fell off, off the roof, roof like yeah. Bambi's On mom. a dog that she killed. Yeah, exactly. That's a, definitely a Disney movie. And there's exactly. a princess and a witch. All right, let's sign it off. All baby. right, guys. Thanks Bring for, it home. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. For myself, Bombshell Ray, and the Highlander. Later. Peace out. There could be only one. <laughs> Did you guys I, I really have uh, never seen the movie Pollyanna? No. I've never heard of that movie. Are you freaking what, kidding what? me? What? It's the girl, f Haley Mills? Joel Osment, or... Is there, is there explosions, Signs? explosions Wait. or car chases in it? No, then she's I'm not watching it. <laughs> Gladiator. What? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Are you really? Nobody you guys dies. Like Training day. Sword. Do you, out. Do you out. really not? Know? Braveheart. <laughs> no. She was like the Braveheart of happiness. <laughs> there. Will you along let Ryan Polly. in? She was the Braveheart. Right? Will of you happiness. let Ryan in? Yeah. Not along came along Polly. Came Polly. It's like an original Disney movie. It's Haley. Just, That's the one. Just, just,